This is the story of Ezra. This story begins way, way back in the very beginning. God made people in his own image. He made them to be in a relationship with him and to rule over creation with him. In the beginning, everything was perfect. But the first people, Adam and Eve, disobeyed God and sin entered the world. God has to punish sin and the punishment for sin is eternal separation from God because he is holy. But from the very beginning, God had a rescue plan. A plan to rescue his people from their sin and bring them back to him again. Fast forward hundreds of years. God led his people into the land that he promised Abraham. God fought for his people and gave them many victories over their enemies. But even though God was good to his people, they disobeyed him. God punished his people for their sins by letting their enemies defeat them. But God's rescue plan was still working. God's people cried out to him for help. God heard their cries and gave his people a second chance. But they disobeyed him once more. This happened again and again and again. One day the Israelites... That's the name in those days for God's people, rejected God as their king and demanded a human king. But God still took care of them and gave them human kings to rule over them. Some were good, like King David. But many of the kings were really bad. These bad kings didn't follow God and they led God's people away from him too. One king, King Solomon, that's King David's son, started out really good. But he then decided to worship pretend gods and he led God's people to do the same. God declared that the kingdom of Israel will be split into two. God warned his people many times through messengers called prophets, but the people refused to listen. Because of their sin, God allowed the northern and southern kingdoms to be destroyed by his people's enemies. The temple, that is the place where God's people went to worship him and where God met with them, was also destroyed. God's people were taken away to foreign lands as prisoners. The people in the southern kingdom were taken captive in Babylon, but even though God's people disobeyed him again and again, he always had a plan to bring them back to their own land again. No matter how many times people turn away from God, God always wants to rescue his people and bring them back to him again. Even then, when things looked really bad for God's people, God's rescue plan was still working. The book of Ezra tells a story of how God's people, the Israelites, returned to their home at last. When Cyrus, a Persian, took over Babylon, he became king and made an order that said God's people are free to go back home. He also said they, they can rebuild the temple of God and even return treasures that were taken from the temple long ago. After years of being captive in a strange land god's people couldn't wait to rebuild the temple to follow god's rules to and to worship him alone again this is still important for us today because jesus died for us we don't need a temple or priests to worship god because God is always with us. But God wants us to follow him and worship him alone too. We are not waiting to go back to a piece of land. We are waiting for our forever home with Jesus where everything will be perfect. Even better than it was in the beginning. God kept his promise to his people and he will keep all his promises to us. God's rescue plan is still working.